Hello again, welcome to the last video clip covering the basic training progress of uh, Labrador Retriever Poppy Broxmill Gertrude, who's just over 12 months of age. This final clip covering basic training gives guidance to reaching the objective of a double mark retrieve. I break this down in various stages as you will see in the diagrams. The first diagram sets out what we want to achieve. It's important before you start training for this objective, you must be confident your dog can complete all the training tasks in our basic video clips, i.e. heel work, memory mark, go back command and short direction retrieve. Do not start double marks until you have established these previous training tasks. It's important when you do start stage one, your dog is not running in to a fallen dummy. In the video clip, you will see I start the exercise leaving the dog sitting in the center. Ask the dog to stay, walk forward approximately 15 meters and place or throw the dummy a further 10 meters. Make sure you are between the dog and the dummy. <coughs> if the dog moves, quickly pick up the dummy, preventing its success. If the dog's steady, return to the dog, walking past the dog, another 15 meters in the opposite direction to where you threw the first mark and place or throw the dummy another 10 meters. Then return to the dog, turn round and face the first mark, line up and send the dog. If your dog returns with the dummy to hand, praise the dog. Put the dummy in your training vest and set up for the second retrieve and send. This completes stage one. Repeat until you're confident of the progress, making sure your dog's not pulling forward before sending <coughs> and you have a nice delivery. Having completed this part of the stage one process, I've uploaded um, a diagram on the screen there um, to, sh to show you this stage one. I've also uploaded a video clip where I'm now throwing the dummies from the heel position without the dog running in on the dummies and being steady uh, before being sent. I still have some work to do on the delivery and I'm going to tidy this up before I move on to stage two. Having completed stage one and polished the delivery a little better, although there's still room for some improvement, I'm now very confident the dog is not running in. I can now start stage two. I reduce the angle between the two marked retrieves from 180 degrees to 90 degrees. I suggest if possible to use suitable ground and facilities to minimize complications. If the dog is muddled or confused, you need to go back and carry on practicing stage one or even further back with your heel work and um, memory marks. You can see in the video clip I use a fence line and a gate for this purpose. Having completed stage two, we are now going to move on to stage 
3, which is more or less identical to stage 2, albeit I'm using different uh, directions uh, on 360 degrees. Um, still keeping the angle at 90 degrees, but actually working in more open ground, so the dog has a choice uh, to, to swap if it wanted to. Um, but it gives you a, a good opportunity to practice this to make sure the dog can change uh, angles at 90 degrees. We're now moving on to stage four. I've uh, uploaded a, a diagram where we're throwing out four marks all at 90 degrees to each other on a 360 degree circle. And I now want the dog to pick two of the retrieves and uh, the handler walking out and picking the remaining two retrieves after you've completed the two marks. When you're actually satisfied that uh, the dog is changing direction and steady and picking the retrieves that you want it to pick on a 360 degree circle at 90 degrees, we can then move on to stage five. We're now moving on to stage five. In uh, stage five, we throw three mark retrieves. Uh, in the example, um, I've, load, I've uploaded a diagram 
um, to show what we're actually doing or trying to do. Um, and the video clip will show you that uh, the throw three dummies out, two at 45 degrees from here, and one behind the dog. And then uh, send the dog the two retrieves out in front, leave the dog sitting there and go and pick it up the third retrieve. I could have actually um, uploaded a clip which would have been uh, a little bit more perfect. You'll probably see on one of the retrieves uh, Susie decides to play with a dummy. These are the sort of things that happen with training. I made the mistake of throwing a dummy with a toggle on it, so she decided to have a bit of a play. Uh, the other thing, uh, which I haven't mentioned out through the series uh, and all the various stages of uh, these video clips, is the dog's been in season. So hormones are up and, and down a bit, but I thought it would give a bit of a touch of reality to the, the situation. Well, here we are on the last video clip, um, demonstrating the final uh, training objective, which is a double mark. You'll see two dummies that are thrown out from the heel position um, at 45 degrees, 90 degrees between the two. Um, hopefully the dog uh, is steady and not running in uh, when it's lined up to be sent and it doesn't swap uh, from one dummy to the next dummy and hopefully we've got a reasonable delivery I think you'll see through the video clips the delivery is starting to improve you've seen one or two mishaps during the sort of training process but, um, that's part of the course that's what happens the video is quite, quite uh, a long one um, showing all the various stages as to how we achieve this objective but I hope you find it useful and enjoyable and good luck with your training Thank you for watching.